Uh, aloha, everybody, and welcome to my collection and a beer. So today, we are going to be going over a few subjects that I wanted to talk to everybody about, and I want some honest opinions, responses, some feedback so we can uh, get this whole thing talking about. And first thing, right before I get started, cheers, first off, but I wanted to give a big shout out to my girl, Carmi, because she's just been there supporting me through everything that I've been doing. I mean, I'm a carpenter and all that, but, but by trying to branch out into this whole thing, and you know, you got to give your girl much love when they support your whole hobby and habits that you do and everything that's in a positive manner and a direction. So cheers to you, babe. Thank you very much. Love you. So next thing I want to go over is I got these packs, right? So if y'all can help me get to like a hundred subs, when we get to a hundred subs, I'm going to do a 20 spot like raffle giveaway for these three packs the two fallen empires plus this japanese ancillary pack so if you want to get in on that help me out get this get this hundred subs we'll get these things out for everybody check that out so into that whole thing let me take a drink here i had a few questions for you guys so i'm starting to get into grading cards right and so my question is check this out right you have two 8.5s you have this 8.5 by CGC Universal and this 8.5 Alpha by uh, BGS, right? And so it looks like with the BGS, you actually have a little more dings up on your corners and everything, as you can tell. And then you look at this Dark Ritual, it's in pretty great condition, right? So my question to you at this point, there's a little ding up in that left-hand corner, as you can tell. But this 8.5, I mean, is pretty solid. So my question to you is, why is CGC so considered so much more unreliable comparatively to the BGS, the PSA cards, and all that? So that's my question to you. I'm starting to grade a few cards of my own. And that's what I'm trying to figure out here and, and all that and which direction I wanted to go. And then uh, I had, well, would you grade packs at that point? You know what I mean? Like, if you're grading everything, right? So would you go ahead and grade this because the possibility of getting like one of those Godzillas in here and having it sealed and having it appreciate as a sealed product over a long time would that appreciate at a higher rate than rather than just opening it and grading the card would you just rather like let that appreciate it at its own rate you know what I mean so that's that's my question to kind of you guys as far as that as far as grading packs and what you feel would be that and then again these are the giveaway packs that I've got if we get to 100 subs I got these guys for you. So hope you all enjoy that. Next thing I was coming up on was uh, the difference between like unlimited and revised here. So right, so we have an unlimited graded dark ritual and then I have my revised dark ritual. And as you can tell, one has the add the three black mana, whereas one has the actual symbol for that. So that's one difference that you have. There's a couple of differences that you have but then and then you have like the third edition fourth edition that one has a little ding up in the back third edition fourth edition where they're actually going to have start having the dates at the bottom as you can tell you have a 1995 wizards of the coast right there so that would tell you what edition you've got whereas you have the revised and unlimited that would have no date at the bottom so one quick way to see what you got going on there and a quick way to look at what you have um so and then my next question would be so since the alphas and betas are getting at such a high price when do you think the unlimited and revised will start catching up with that price you know will they start appreciating at a higher rate now that everything's starting to go away you know when you have like the nicer alpha beta cards like i'm gonna go show you real quick my alpha beta right so you have these alpha beta cards which are in pretty decent condition right so once all this stuff is gone when do all the other vehicles you know like the revised and the chronicles and everything start to catch up at that point so here we go i've uh started to collect these about like a few months ago you know probably like august july is when i started co seriously collecting i played magic back in 2000s and then when i was in the military i played uh I played because it was something to do when me and my buddy were back on the fob, you know, we, we actually played some magic games overseas and shit, so it was pretty fun, you know what I mean, and then I played back in the 2000s when I was in high school and stuff, so recently got back into collecting, so finally got my guy's cradle, got our time spiral here, sliver clean, 
I've got another one of those coming in. I've got a couple Tolarian Academies, the Pixie Queen. So this first section is all my reserve list cards. I have the Demonic Attorneys, the Dark Packs, Vesuvian Doppelganger again by Quentin Hoover. Quentin Hoover, rest in peace, brother. He's got some of the best art that I actually enjoy in the game. As well as, dude, Ed Beard, he's got some great art. I know he's out there. He's a friend of Luke's, and he's doing some great thing for Luke. If you guys can go check out 570 MTG Gaming, he's got a situation, uh, a raffle going away for a nice playmat. If you guys want to go check that out, it's pretty awesome. So go go hit that up. And then I have... Uh, some of the dark reserve list cards. I got a Livonia Salone from the Legends. The Fallen Empires, which is a set that I'm actually really interested in because it's kind of the cheaper of the older sets and I think it's going to appreciate at a rate pretty quick, you know, because it's a just jumped to about $1,000 a box from, you know, uh, one of the persons that's got a high quantity of the boxes, as y'all know. And then everybody else running at like six to $700, but their boxes aren't as in good condition. So I don't know. You know, I'm starting to think about getting uh, one of these Fallen Empires boxes and moving on that. And I have some more Fallen Empires reserve lists, some Urza Saga reserve lists, the Sentinars, uh, some Zephyrs, some Lotus Blossoms. I got a couple great whales. I got my uh, Herald of Sarah. She's a gorgeous card, by the way. A couple Karn, Silver Golems. I mean, I, I just really appreciate that card. Then again, my Alpha cards which you can tell the difference on the corners between the alpha and beta on how rounded and how unrounded that is the earth bind another quit quentin hoover art my circle of protections one's beta one's alpha you know what i mean so how do you guys feel about the reserve list i have more reserve list cards back here obviously the didgeridoo that's a uh, one that everybody everybody loves the didgeridoo the Thelon's curse which i think is very underrated if you uh wanted to think about like something like penny stocks or something these are these are kind of more like it i got these two for 99 cents and they're reserve list cards so we'll never be printed again so i mean that there's really something to think about and then coming into here i have uh my whole set of commons revised and everything i did pull out the dark ritual so we could look at that in that other situation comparatively to the unlimited graded um, so these are my revised set of commons. I definitely like a lot of the old artwork, the Kurt Ape, all that stuff like that. I mean, you have a lot of great artwork here. The Blue Elemental Blast, you know what I mean? Fucking all that, the Dredge Skeletons, the Fear, that card's been going up as far as the Alpha Beta. I mean, all those commons and everything from Alpha and Beta are starting to raise in price and will start to raise in price. I have a couple of uh, my Demonic Tutors over here. A revised little soul ring a couple birds of paradise i think it's a fourth and fifth edition or third and fourth whichever one of that that set series came and then i have my little set of the dark i don't have very much of the dark but i did get a little set from somebody that was like it was pretty cheap with the mana vortex and the maze of the ith and all these i got it for like a 100 bucks so i'm pretty stoked on that you know what i mean i'm pretty stoked so i have a page of mythics here by the way, cheers, guys. Happy holidays. Happy New Year's. I hope y'all are enjoying your family. Love everybody and do that whole thing. So my next question to y'all is what do y'all feel about sealed product? Do you like sealed packs? Do you keep sealed booster boxes versus now new set boxes, I guess, is what's coming out. Do you keep pre-release boxes sealed? Or do you keep your collector's boxes sealed? Or would you rather just go the singles way and do everything through the singles route? So, moving on, I have Mox Amber, the Karn, Cyan of Urza. This is uh, the Gilded Lotus. I had, do have a Dominaria box opening that I will be editing and put together and uh, show everybody because they, it did get cut off in the middle and I had to kind of edit it. So, that'll be coming soon, but I did pull the Mox Amber and the Karn. So, if you guys would like to see that Dominaria box, please let me know. I got the Oko, the full art Oko that I pulled in that Throne of Eldrain. I did get this, dude. Somebody left magic cards downstairs in the apartment like of my building just in a box for free so and this oko was up in there i'm like dude score there was like still like 10 other rares and shit i was like yeah, i can take it i got my nissa she's still sealed up in her pre-release pack or her uh not pre-release but her secret layer pack i got the nissa the grim tutor the nahiri moving on to my next side i got all my zendikar expeditions so I've got a uh, the Polluted Delta Prismatic Vista Flooded Strand here. I got two Creeping Tar Pits, one's a foil. I got a Grove of the Burn Willows, 
want this foil celestial colonnade the dark slick and the sea cloud so not all of them but it is a nice page that i enjoy i mean the polluted delta and that i mean the art on that let's just pull that out really quick because this thing is just i don't know if any of you have seen that card or had that card in your hand but i mean that art is unbelievable so probably one of my favorite cards that i have here oh my bad guys didn't mean to shake y'all around Phyrexian land so I did get one of pick up one of those Phyrexian land these are my set list cards from the Zendikar set list boxes I do have a page of bird maiden so my girl kind of like tipped me off on this card and it really was not too bad I mean they were like a couple of them were two bucks one was like six bucks the best condition one was like eight dollars so I mean these four were a dollar fifty for the revised ones so I mean really I spent what, like 30 bucks total with shipping and everything on a page of these and I mean, if the if the Arabian Nights cards actually roll up to like ten bucks or something, then you have fifty bucks you paid you paid for yourself on the cards. So, I'm starting to look at that kind of thing as far as an investment, you know, as as that goes. Back here, I have my Fallen Empires cards that I pulled from the packs actually that y'all got to see me open, which was a fun time opening those old school packs. You know, I mean, like just look at this artwork look at that artwork it's pretty it's pretty pretty great you know what i mean so i do have some other collections if you guys would like to see them i wouldn't wouldn't be uh opposed to showing you them i have like an urza saga set i have my almond cat set i have a bunch of different things that i've been going through and all that so with these these are actually those throne of eldraine uh lands that i have the box opening on you guys saw this i'm kind of keeping him in here hopefully He'll start to straighten out. I do have one of those Commander Legends promos, um, which is pretty awesome. So that's pretty cool. I know the glare, glare on that when I moved that up was pretty bad. So I'm sorry, sorry about that. But he is a pretty cool little Sangir. Flying, whenever another creature dies, put two plus one, plus one counters on Sangir. The Dark Baron, whenever another player loses the game, you gain life equal to that player's life total as the turn began. Partner. So he's a pretty cool little card right there as far as a promo. So with these ancillary packs like i was asking do you guys keep things sealed and would you rather open them you know what i'm saying because look at what you can get you have the two mecha godzillas i got the one the foil these were both from one pack so you are going to get the two the moth eggs in each one of them right so you're going to get all of that no matter what but you are also have the possibility of getting this guy i can't never remember his name but still a pretty cool card i mean check it out i'm gonna pull these out for you so you can see what's possible and we can get a nice little close up. So here's your foil, Mecha Godzilla. And then that dude. So they are raising in price and having one of these graded in mint condition is actually uh, not too bad. So, I mean, you can think about either opening this pack up and doing that or keeping the pack sealed and seeing how it appreciates over time. Like, is the pack gonna be you know, a hundred dollar pack in 10 years, or is the card just going to appreciate past the point where it's just worth it to open the packs regardless? You know what I mean? So you have those kind of discussions to go over. And then I have all these, when you have the channel fireball, a little package, these are the lands that come with it. And they send you all these special foil lands as well. The muta vault that they got their their situation, the soul ring. Um, they give that to you. I got one of those dwarven bo bro blood boilers because, uh, <laughs> the magic historian was talking about like the whole dwarven thing and i was going to try and like get on top of it but i thought at some point it's just actually better to get in different directions so and then just one urza saga land back here in the back but that is my collection guys so i hope you enjoyed the video cheers and then i have if y'all made it this long if y'all made it this far in the video i have one question and then i'm gonna find something special for you guys whoever gets this the closest the closest i got something special for you all right what do i look like all right y'all bless